That's IT. I will go to his shit, but we have killed Jin in that bald asshole. I hate him to die together with love. Andre, there is no That's it, you stupid mother ass. Fuck you, this horrible shit. Waitress. Waitress. Why the fuck did you buy with our last money this crap of car? Tell me, you idiot. Great, you asshole. You teleported us into the grocery store. And what now? We don't have money to buy anything. Oh my fuck. I fucking dead because that Santa asshole. Chewie's ma. Andre, how the fuck are you up in two mans or me, you dumb fuck? A B C D E F G H I J. How the fuck did you bring us to battlefield, you stupid moron? But wait, Jinan, we will have free food in prison. I'm now alone right now, this fucking shit timer. I hate that Andre, that piece of shit. Kissy, 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 kissy the pharmacy, a little fucking piece of garbage, little bit. Hello and welcome to Jinan and Andre's studios. Where can I help you, dumbass fuck summer ass? I would like to play to Hank Lucky Polo's movie, please. Oh, look at you. Your skins is covered shit, and you are smelly smelly disgusting dark. Hey don't say me that my skins is covered shit you retarded little chicken. I will sit until you say that Hank Lucky Polo's movie it's exist, or doesn't exist Mark who pitch Kumator Rinu. Hey don't call me like that you darko bitch, and your goo goo ga ga baby boss don't say me you piece of dickhead. I am shit mooser darko, not goo goo ga ga baby boss. Bravo you darko piece of shit, and your film Hank Lucky Polo's movie is your shitty shitty and your god cannot help. Go to hell darko you bastard. Okay you Santa asshole, what do you wanna learn? I would like to learn about you to celebrate Valentine's Day you piece of shit. Listen to me you bridal fucking piece of shit, you're in your Valentine's Day as song is so shitty and horribly and terrifying because of you Santa asshole, if get me sick you piece of ass, I want to get your house and get a big shit. How did you fuck bring me in jail, you piece of motherfucker shit? OMG 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 How the fuck did you bring me into jail? I am not a bad queen, tell me you piece of house of the big shit. Why the fuck did you bring me into the jail? I am not a gangster man, you bridal fucking piece of shit. I am going to shit myself, you bridal piece of garbage. Okay, you stupid bitch, I am going to cook your head. No you piece of shit come on don't be silly, I am going to house and will covered shit you bastard. Can you cook my head? Yes. No. Yes. You know what they say, dynamite comes in small packages. I'm not weird. I'm limited edition. Why be moody when you can shake your booty? Of course I talk to myself. Sometimes I need expert advice. Somebody said today that I'm lazy. I nearly answered him. I made a huge to-do list today. I just need to figure out who's going to do it. It's okay if you don't like me. Not everyone has good taste. I'm not saying I'm overreacting. But there are good times and there are bad times to hand me a chainsaw. My brain says crunches, but my stomach says cupcakes. Can you hear that? That's my pillow calling, and it gets really mean if I make it wait too long. Could you point me to the bathroom? I have a stool appointment. May I please be excused? My brain is full. Organized people are those who are just too lazy to find their things. I'm not lazy. I'm just very relaxed. When people tell me, you're going to regret that in the morning, I sleep until noon because I am a problem solver. I don't need a new hairstylist. My pillow gives me a new hairstyle every morning. My relationship is like an iPad. I don't have an iPad. I never make the same mistake twice. I make it six or seven times, just to be sure. If money doesn't grow on trees, why do banks have branches? I'm not lazy. I'm just highly motivated to do nothing. An apple a day keeps the doctor away, if you throw it hard enough. I actually sold the vacuum cleaner. All it was doing was gathering dust. Here I am. What are your other two wishes? My wallet is like an onion. Every time I open it, it makes me cry. Don't you tell me the sky is the limit when there are footprints on the moon. Life is a bowl of soup. And I'm a fork. I finally found a machine at the gym that I like, the vending machine. If the world didn't suck, we'd all fall off of it. A diamond is just a lump of coal that did well under pressure. I always say morning instead of good morning, if it were a good morning, I'd be sleeping and not talking to people. I'm glad I don't have to hunt for my own food. I have no idea where a sandwich is live. Whatever you're doing, always give 100%. Unless you're donating blood. 
Anything done before the first coffee of the day could be classified as self-defense. You're not made of sugar, you won't melt. Sure, I can help you out. Which way did you come in? Hay is for horses. No, you're not adopted. But we've placed an ad. Do as I say, not as I do. Want to know what it's like to have the best kid in the world? You'll have to ask grandma and grandpa. Sorry, kids. But I have to follow the instructions on the aspirin bottle, keep away from children. There's so much I love about our little family, especially the parts when you guys fall asleep. Nigga pocha da nigga pocha da nigga pocha da. Nigga pocha da. Nigga pocha da. Oh my god I kiss my lovely baldy cows I said nigga pocha da. Oh my god I kiss my Santa asshole cows I said nigga pocha da. Welcome to cooking show the show is about to begin any second. So it begins now you piece of shit. Today we are cooking Mir's head, and we'll be done for 3 hours. Please take a while until we are finished the cooking. Let me show ingredients. You need 400 grams of Amir's head. You need as known of Amir's head, which is cost $1000, and you need 250 grams of his hands. You need 4500 bones which is cost $243,000. You need onion. You need a salad. You need 2 pancakes. You need a tomato. You need a carrot. Which also carrot will be roasted like alcohol bitch a mirror. You need a poop and urine. You need a computer in 2009 which also means that the old version of Windows XP bitchy build. No more cooking show for you. Back to. To your fucking Windows XP build version 3131. Fuck you. Well you're stupid ass. It's back to normal in this scene, and you can go back to your computer with fucking Windows Longhorn. Sometimes you need to slow a scene down. Maybe a character dropped a bombshell of a line, and you want the reader to dwell on it for a moment, rather than rushing headlong into the next paragraph. A moment of silence helps to pause your story. To take a break for a moment, before the rush of action and conversation begins again. Follow me on social media, here's an example from Karen Joy Fowler's We Are All Completely Beside Ourselves, around then, there was one of those strange moments when all the noise inside the restaurant suddenly stopped. Nobody spoke. Nobody clicked the sides of their coffee cup with their spoon. Nobody outside barked or honked or coughed. Fermata. Freeze frame. Silence can also show a moment of awkwardness between two characters. In this scene, a brother and sister are meeting again after years and years of not seeing each other. Silence is a way of showing the distance between them. Too. Silence is characterization. Plenty of characters in fiction don't speak much. Staying silent is excellent characterization. We feel like we know them because of how little they speak. Every writer needs this book. It's a guide to writing the pivotal moments of your novel. Whether writing your book or revising it, this would be the most helpful book you'll ever buy. Learn more here is an example from Aaron Dottie Roy's The God of Small Things. Asta had always been a quiet child, so no one could pinpoint with any degree of accuracy exactly when he had stopped talking. Stopped talking altogether, that is. The fact is that there wasn't an exactly when. It had been a gradual winding down and closing shop. A barely noticeable parade. As though he had simply run out of conversation and had nothing left to say. Yet as the silence was never awkward. Never intrusive. Never noisy. I love that as the silence grows across this passage. He starts as quiet and then grows to complete silence. This silence is character change. So here, silence is not a blankness. It's a full rounded character trait that tells us more about us than pages of dialogue ever could. Have you written a character who is tight-lipped? It might be a good idea to try out a character who withholds speech.3. Silence as atmosphere using silence in your book can create a mood. In Cormac McCarthy's The Road, the post-apocalyptic landscape is silent because almost nothing is alive. So the silence is the silence of death, of a landscape where nearly everything has been killed. When McCarthy repeats the word silence again and again and again throughout the book, the reader feels the agony of a world scorched by a nuclear disaster, where even keeping alive is a struggle. They stood listening in the utter silence. They trudged all day, the boy in silence. He retrieved the tin with the pliers and they ate in silence. In the darkness and the silence he could see bits of light that appeared random on the night grid. They stood and brushed themselves off, listening through the silence in the distance. 
The nights were blind and cold and casket black, and the long reach of the morning had a terrible silence to it. In one section he repeats a two-word sentence three times, the silence, the silence, the silence. He's making the silence haunt these characters and haunt the reader. Learn how to nail chapter ending surprise your reader with plot twists describe a character for the first to be right the killer and then learn MORE 4. Silence for dialogue we have a whole video on how to use silence and dialogue in my course, the ultimate guide to writing dialogue. Your characters shouldn't respond to every line of dialogue. Sometimes, you just need them to be quiet. Silence can indicate that they want to avoid the question, or are uncomfortable, or don't know what to say, or refuse to say what they want to say. In these cases, silence speaks volumes. Here's a classic example from Ernest Hemingway's Hills Like White Elephants, it's really an awfully simple operation, Jig, the man said. It's not really an operation at all. The girl looked at the ground the table legs rested on. I know you wouldn't mind it, Jig. It's really not anything. It's just to let the air in. The girl did not say anything. We know the girl disagrees with this idea to get an abortion, because she doesn't say anything. She's afraid to disagree out loud. But we can sense how uncomfortable she is with this conversation. Here are three other ways to handle silence in your dialogue. Use punctuation. For example, use ellipses to indicate a pause in time before another character speaks his description. When you have a description of the outside world next to dialogue, it will slow down the pace and feel like silence. Use thoughts. Intersperse a pop character's thoughts around the dialogue, and the reader will understand nothing is being said at the moment. Dot writing challenges J and Silent Bob. Try writing a passage of dialogue where one character does all the talking and the other stays silent. Show the non-speaker's gestures, noises, body language and actions to offset the speaker's lines. Describing silence, write a scene where the main character experiences a profound moment of silence. Describe the setting and the character's internal and external reactions. Consider how the lack of sound affects the senses and emotions. Dialogue interruption, create a dialogue between two characters where a significant pause or silence occurs. This silence should be loaded with meaning, it might represent tension, understanding, a secret, or an unspeakable thought. Reflect on how the characters navigate this silence. Meet Mr. Quiet. Craft a scene where a character must respond to a situation or another character without words. This could be through facial expressions, gestures, or actions. Explore how much can be conveyed without spoken language. Silent Twist Epiphany Write a short piece of flash fiction under 1000 words, where the climax of the story involves a moment of silence. This could be a realization, a decision made, or an important event, where silence plays a crucial role. We opponized silence, write a scene where two characters are in conflict, and one of them uses silence as a tool or weapon. How does this silence affect the other character and the dynamics of their interaction? Mute City, set a scene in a typically noisy environment, like a busy city street, a school, or a market plant, and then remove all sound. How does this change the atmosphere? What do the characters notice that they wouldn't otherwise? Good luck with writing silence in your fiction. Goodbye you stupid dialogue bitch. Meet the stupid chicken asshole is called Jose are known as Genin, the bald piece of shit. Let's waiting until the Genin the bald piece of shit is waiting for me to come. Dear God Genin why is taking so long you brought a full fucking piece of garbage.